confetti club is pixie and this video is an exciting video with a lot of updates um that you might want to watch if you are a person that consumes this channel and is tied into the routine because uh, a lot of things are about to change and i'm really excited to chat about them with you first things first you probably noticed that the intro was completely different yes it is time for the annual ish uh, pixie locks changing of the intro and outro we have changed our youtube intro and outro many times throughout the years i think this is the uh, I don't know, eighth maybe? Sometimes I count designer diary, sometimes I don't. But I've been work, work, working on this one for a while and I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I really hope you guys like it as well. I dipped my toes into a little bit of claymation and I also thought I could kind of pair this video with a little bit of a crafternoon behind the scenes. So we filmed a bunch of us working on it and making all the little clay bits and trying stop motion, which is something that is like, not a thing we do a lot and it's super 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 simple but yeah i think it looks super cute come join me for a sweet crafter noon now i will say the second big change coming to the channel is really really exciting and i talk about that after this little crafting section so you might want to either stick around or honestly like skip this if you're not a crafty diva but it's fun it's fun I just, you know, I don't want anyone to be like snooze fest and then like miss all the news. I started by just preparing all of my colors, mixing them up, conditioning the clay. Once I had all of the colors prepared, it was time to go in with the little alphabet cookie cutters. I have only worked with clay a bit in the past few years. I am definitely not an expert at it. And I've always been kind of bad at things that require teeny tiny, like precise details done with your fingers. So while these letters don't look that complicated and maybe they don't look that small. Oh my god! <laughs> this took me multiple tries and a lot of learning the best like techniques, the wiggle, the lift, the roll. And then once I got all of the letters done, how friggin cute is that? I also went and I started making some sweet little charms to go around it. I didn't actually do a mock-up for this intro, I just saw it so clearly in my mind's eye and I just went for it. I wanted to make sure it didn't look like just 100% like Lucky Charms, although that is also very cute and definitely not a bad thing, I just wanted it to be like general, cute, plasticine, claymation like cutiness. And I made two of each charm and then I actually just went in with Photoshop and I duplicated a bunch of them to fill out the screen more later on. And then it was time to set the stage. I actually used pretty much the exact same setup as I did for the Designer Diaries intro, where it's just five pieces of cardstock and I wiggled them a little bit so the lines were on a little bit of a diagonal. I've had backgrounds that were like primarily blue sky, backgrounds that were just like straight pink, and I really, really love how this rainbow background turned out. Super simple because we don't want to distract from the star of the show, which is all the little clay bits. I went into this with a plan A and a plan B. So I shot my plan B first in case plan A didn't work. So I got my camera facing in a total straight down bird's eye view and I very meticulously wiggled around with the setup and the placement of the letters. And then I started rolling and I just removed the letters one by one so that I could kind of very simply animate it with each letter popping up to the beat of the music. I also then went in and I wiggled each charm slightly three times so I could give them a little kind of jittering animation effect. And I was just going to do like an overlay mask thing with that so that you could see the letters in the middle with the charms jittering on the sides. So that's the general setup. But my plan A ended up working, and my plan A, I guess you saw the intro, was to try and have each letter have a tiny little claymation animation of the letter like popping up from a little ball. And the way I did this was actually working backwards, so I laid out all of the letters, I started with the S, and I squished her a little bit, and then I squished her a little bit more, and then I made it into a little ball, and then I made it into a littler ball. And I did that for every letter. So I ran upstairs and I edited this just to see like, is this working at all? Cause I don't do claymation. I don't do stop motion. Like, I don't know if this is gonna look like anything. But yeah, this is like a very simple, like 
grade one baby's first claymation, so of course it worked. I posted this little whip, sneaky peeky, on Patreon, and everyone was really excited, which made me so, so, so happy. But you might notice that the friggin' paper in the background moves. So I did all of this all over again the next day. This time I took a big piece of clear tape and I taped down all of the paper just out of frame on the top and the bottom. Editing this ended up taking so long, like two full eight hour days of just messing around with this, trying to make sure the lighting was the exact same and the shadows didn't frig around. I ended up literally importing each and every frame into Photoshop and Photoshopping each layer. My computer was not even running. My computer was really old and it can barely run anything and 50 frames? She was not pleased. But it turned out exactly how I imagined it and I'm so, 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 so happy. And for the ending, I did it kind of similarly, although the only animation is the spinning flower in the middle, which you'll see later. Um, I made that very similar to the last outro, like the one you would have seen on the last video, um, but it's all made out of clay, hee <laughs> hee. This was a lot of letters to cut out, uh, but, but I got her done. And I just used the same charms and I placed them around. For the Patreon names, I made these wiggly like clay rope frames to go around the Patreon names. And I think this turned out really, 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 really cute. I just cut out the middle of it and placed the text underneath so that it's like encapsulated, all cozy and cute. Ooh, I, I love it, I love it. And then I made that friggin' flower spin. They kind of remind me of the gummy intro and outro, but with more like artisanal care. And also one vegan person commented and they were like, that makes me sad because there's gelatin in that and that made me feel bad. Um. <laughs> for a long time, so no one can be sad at the clay. Okay, that concludes the Crafternoon segment. The second big change that's coming, and this is probably like a bigger change because it's something that I haven't done before, I am going to start live streaming on this channel on YouTube once a month. And a big reason for this is because I am launching memberships on this channel. YouTube memberships is something that I didn't really understand at first, but I have been really, really enjoying being a member of a couple different channels, and I really have started to look forward to their streams and really just be really involved in their communities. And I also kind of miss live streaming to like the public. I do monthly live streams on Patreon every month, which usually we have like a cozy little crowd of like 12 people hanging out but I thought this would be a really good way to start live streaming for anyone who wants to watch and then the chat for the live streams are going to be members only for the first couple of live streams I'll probably keep the chat open to everyone because otherwise I would be talking to myself but yeah why would you ever want a YouTube membership to see the live streams? There are some really, really cute elements to YouTube memberships that are kind of like reminiscent of Twitch, where you can have custom emotes and loyalty badges. So of course, me and my designer brain, um, it has been really, really, really fun to design and create the loyalty badges and the custom emojis. So yeah, basically, if you feel like it, if you want it, again, so extreme optional. Starting off, it allows you to have four custom emojis, and then the more members that you get, it allows you more slots. So, ha 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 ha. Hopefully there will be some more emojis in the future. But, um, starting out, I have two little ones of my face trying to do like emoji style emoticon. You know what I'm saying? The hair is recognizable. And then I was trying to think like if I could have any emoji what emoji would I want if I could go to Mr. Apple and make something happen? So I made a rainbow heart. A rainbow heart emoji. Ah! I love this thing. I wish I could use it all the time, everywhere. And I'm pretty sure that you can also use these in my comments, like not just on live streams, but on the comments of my videos. So yeah, that's exciting. And the other custom emoji that I have starting out in the set of four is a magical girl style bow. I just think this is really sweet. It's a pink bow with a star in the middle. Again, I was trying to think like, what's the cutest emoji? What emoji would I want so bad? 
that I might pay $4.99 a month for. So yeah, I'm really excited for more emojis to come. I was asking on Patreon if anyone had any ideas and there was a lot of amazing ideas. So yeah, it would be cool. And the loyalty badges. This is a really exciting feature. So basically, oh, I should have said this earlier, but I'm only doing one tier. So one level, it's $4.99 for a monthly live stream with access to the members only chat with the loyalty badges and the emojis. And then I'll probably make it so that the replay video of the lives are also members only and I had a lot of fun designing the loyalty badges as well. I, I thought it was fun to have sweet little charms. That's also kind of the theme of the intro and the outro although clay versus pixel art two mediums that I'm not very familiar with that I'm working with for these new updates. I thought that was weird. I'm like I never do pixel art. I'm like googling how to turn off anti-aliasing in Photoshop. Also trying to figure out how to like properly use the cookie cutter and not have everything fall apart. So basically these badges will change depending on how long you've stayed a member. So starting off we have a pink strawberry. I want it specifically to make it pink. Next up we have a crystal star, kind of. This was probably the hardest one to pixel art but I think it's cute. A green clover. This one is an apple emoji, but I think mine is cuter. A blue five petal flower. Classic, legendary, forever. Probably the thing I've drawn the most of in my lifetime. And the last one for when you are a super ultra mega star is not just a rainbow, but a sparkly pastel rainbow with a cloud. I have thought about this. And you might be thinking, hey, you have a Patreon. What is the difference between the Patreon and the YouTube memberships? And should I get one or the other? Or is there any overlap? One thing I uh, have decided for sure is that I'm not gonna have any overlapping content. So I'll be doing one private Patreon stream per month and one public with members only stream on YouTube a month. On YouTube, you get the custom emojis and the loyalty badges, as well as being able to see the live streams after they've already been streamed. And on Patreon, you also get these monthly illustrated calendars and I do other printable things sometimes. On Patreon, there's more like, I'll post visuals and updates. And another really big difference is that Patreon is where the secrets are. Patreon will get you sneaky peeks and a peek behind the curtain. Oh, and the chat is private, kind of, so it's like usually 12 people, whereas I have no idea how many people might be joining me on my uh, YouTube streams. I'm still really, really nervous. I haven't streamed for like a public audience. Um, I did one little measly TikTok live, but other than that, like, the you now days were a long, 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 long time ago. But I'm really excited. I really, really want to get back into it. I feel like I have the capacity to handle that amount of information and, you know, stuff coming at me. So yeah, I'm also gonna make a little visual breaking down the differences between the Patreon and the memberships and which one you might want. And again, I'll just repeat, this is definitely an extra optional on top of thing. Just having your subscribe, your comment, your view, seeing the same usernames interacting with me in the comments over and over, like that means so much to me, more than you will ever know. So yeah, definitely don't feel obligated or pressured. You know, a true confetti clubber takes care of themselves and their wallet first. So yeah. And maybe um, also if the first stream or two are like the chat open to the public, maybe you will um, get to test a little bit and see if this is something that you might want to, you know, if you want to actually pay the money for the membership or if you're like, my life is complete without it. So that's all my news. Since our fusion that we talked about in the I skipped six years of my life video, I have felt just still still very brand new and very like, okay, well, I guess we'll just keep going. So you might see me kind of returning to a couple habits from back then, like slash pause. So yeah, I'm, I'm in the mood to stream, mama. And also it's really, it's really fun making emojis and designing stuff. And I really hope you guys like them too. Okay, I am going to go. I love you so much. And we'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one's over. Bye.